All right, uh, you're watching TVC Breakfast. Let's get into the headlines now, see what uh, the newspapers are saying in Nigeria this morning. And I have with me in the studio, uh, uh, Cherson Okwade. He is a chartered accountant and a public affairs analyst. Uh, I also have with me uh, Tunji Abdulhamid. Uh, he is a lawyer and an analyst as well. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning, to see you man. both. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. That's the day we always <laughs> pick up for a case to rest. <laughs> Although we're still, um, the Kagara abduction of students is still in the air, so uh, everyone's feeling sad of what happened in Niger State. But however, let's, let's get on now. Daily Trust is where we start from this morning. Daily Trust says, Niger abduction, 52-year-old Kagara school in Sorry State. How I watched gunmen kill my friend. A student is narrating uh, his ordeal there. Uh, abductors sub uh, operated for two hours. Police post nearby. The source is saying this. Police involve hunters in rescue mission. Right? This is uh, Daily Trust. From there, let's go to News Direct. News Direct says, Senate seeks to prohibit casual jobs for graduates. As senators blame banks for turning female marketers into sexual slaves. All right, that's uh, News Direct. From there, let's go to Daily Sun. Daily Sun says, Governors raise funds for military to fight insecurity. Insurgency, banditry may last 20 years. Burate is saying this, that's Daily Sun. Insurgency, banditry may last 20 years. Okay, this is... Uh, it's so troubling, uh, for you, that kind of headline. Okay, uh, that's a Daily Sun. The Guardian newspaper is next. Nigeria exits recession amid very weak growth. Nigeria exits recession amid very weak growth. Economy still troubled. In recession, say LCCI, tell I saying this. And Nigeria's uh, ranchers cattle herding system stealing growth potential. The experts won against uh, undue optimism, All right? Uh, the, 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 the economy picked by 0.11%. Let's go to the Vanguard newspaper now. Vanguard says, uh, 24 hours after Kagara school invasion, bandits kill one, injure two, abduct ten in Niger State. More troubles there. From there, the Punch newspaper. Punch says Niger Zanfara hold talks, troops locate students, workers in forest. All right, uh, we've deployed more troops where abductees, kidnappers are, says the CP. And uh, bandits told students they were soldiers to provide security. As a resident saying this, I ran in zigzag pattern to dodge bullets, escaped student, narrates his ordeal there. It's really, really, really troubling. That's a punch newspaper. All right, Blueprint is next. Blueprint says, Burate has Senate screening. Why terrorism may persist for the next 20 years? Why terrorism may persist for the next 20 years? And that's coming from the immediate past chief of army staff. All right, says the military approach alone can't win the war. Our forests remain source of insecurity. Oloni Shaki is saying this, the police on... Uh, Aerial surveillance to rescue Kagara students, as the IGP is saying this. And some governors playing politics with security. Yaya Belu, the governor of uh, Kugi State, is saying that. All right, that's a blueprint newspaper. Daily Times is next. Daily Times says, Governors query ECOWAS protocol on free movement over insecurity. Daily Times says, uh, Governors query ECOWAS protocol on free movement over insecurity. That's Daily Times, all right? Governor's Korea Ecowas Protocol on Free Movement of Our Insecurity. Leadership Newspaper is next now. Leadership says, this is the only home we know. That's the Leadership Newspaper. Leadership Newspaper. All right, this is the only home we know. Fulani herdsmen share emotional stories of attachment to the South. And governors reject ethnic profiling of crimes all right of course if you are a nigerian you have the right to live anywhere within the country from there let's go to national economy national economy says growth in agriculture telecommunication aid nigeria's recovery from recession 
growth in agriculture, telecommunication aid Nigeria's recovery from uh, recession. That's a uh, national economy. Uh, uh, GDP grows to 0.11% uh, in the fourth quarter of 2020. And Divergent Views Trail Growth Report, right? Uh, some are saying, no, don't be, don't be jubilant yet because the growth is so weak, it can slip back anytime. The Nation newspaper is next now. Nation is what we're looking at now. Insurgency may persist for 20 years, Burate warns. Insurgency may persist for 20 years, Burate warns. All right. And then from there, we'll go to Daily Independent, which is the last one now. Daily Independent says, military alone can't defeat Boko Haram. Burate is saying that. The immediate past uh, chief of uh, army staff. Military alone can't defeat Boko Haram. Right, he's saying that. All right, I think we'll take that cue from that and then we take it into the other issues. Security, certainly, uh, if you look at all the headlines here, most of them touch around the issue of security. All right, now the headline, Boko Haram or insurgency and terrorism might last for 20 years. Let's start from there. The chief, former immediate past chief of army staff uh, is revealing this. And his perspective is that the military approach to this alone cannot solve. Of course, this is what the past chiefs of uh, army staff have all said. In fact, the president, uh, I recall that uh, President Goodlock, former President Goodlock Jonathan, had also talked about this before. Eminent Nigerian security agents have all said this. Military approach alone cannot solve this. But the point there is beyond military, because they say it's a war of ideology. How are we tackling that area? Let me start with you, Tunji, on this. Yeah, I, I think uh, this is not the first time you say that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I tend to agree with uh, him. Unfortunately, like I said, he said that uh, before he left the uh, office. But all the same, he, I see him contradict himself at the time when he was in office. Because sometimes he will tell you there is no problem, everything is okay, yeah, this and that. But now he's out, he can say the way it is. The truth is that he highlighted the reasons why he says so. I, and I tend to agree with him on those reasons because uh, there are so many facilities that are supposed to be available for you to be able to fight the war are not there. So what he's saying is that if those facilities are not there, there is no, no matter how well the military are uh, prepared, no matter how well they try to do what they want to do, they may not get uh, the desired results. He, talk, he talks about roads, lack of good roads. He talks about lack of uh, uh, war equipment. He talks about so many other facility that can aid this uh, insecurity. So, you know, if you don't have all this in place, there is no way you can fight it. And that, that's why he, he, I don't know how it got uh, to uh, his 20 years anyway. But I, I know as it is today, the way we are fighting the war, we cannot get any good result because you can't be, you can't be doing the same thing the same way. You can't be fighting uh, a, a 21st century war hmm. with idea of 18th century. It's not, it's not, it's not done. There are, there are things you need to put in place. There are things you need to do. You need to ensure that, look, there are target diseases. We were in the world of uh, uh, we're in the IT world, mm -hmm. and then we need to be involved in that in the use of those uh, IT. We are not doing that. We are, we are just thinking uh, it's a rocket science. It will just come and then uh, the thing will work. We, we rely on uh, prayers and uh, uh, hoping. Uh, we, are, we, just, we are just hoping that uh, the thing will go. You, you see, we don't do the right thing and then we can't get the right, right results. So I tend to agree with him that, look, lack of good roads, lack of uh, adequate. Uh, uh, machinery or infrastructure for the for the, we have been waiting for to kind of jet for how many mm -hmm. years now? It's it, hasn't, it hasn't come. Uh, but the, the, they're supposed to arrive this year. Uh, a lot of them have been done, have been uh, manufactured. We have uh, been told there's no there's no wrong way. Hmm. So that means it may, it may not come because I'm not I'm not aware we are doing that now. Hmm. To even prepare for it. Well, the the, the point there is uh, let me let me take it to Chasson. The the when the head of a security agency, one way or the other is making a statement at that level. Uh, you certainly would take it seriously because uh, they have, they are privy to information that others may not uh, have access to except the commander in chief and, and a few other persons. Uh, the war against insurgency, we've fought it since 2009 and by this year, it is 12 years already. And if the, uh, the immediate past chief of army staff is saying that uh, this could last for uh, it could take 20 years. I wonder what kind of hope that we have 
as a nation to fight this. And what we should be doing, if at all, uh, we're going to keep this, uh, we, we intend to keep Boko Haram behind us. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mike. Uh, like uh, Tuji said, this is not the first time we are hearing about this. Mm. But uh, the disheartening thing is that several of the suggestions we've given to the government, uh, we've not seen a good speed of it. We've said it that it's not about changing the personnel. Have you carried out critically the, the an holistic view about this problem that we are faced with? Mm. Knowing fully well that the fight is against ideology, some people sat down somewhere and said, this is what we want. There is no room for Western education. We don't want it. We want to go this way. So it's like they have been indoctrinated and uh, lectured, tutored to have a buy-in into why you are fighting that cause. And as soon as you're able to win people's emotion, that's why we see them growing every day. So that idea, it's not about you carrying gun to say we want to face you one-on-one. -on -one. What other approach can be used is working on the psyche of other individuals that are yet to be possibly recruited. If you look at it, this group keeps growing day by day. And you see, the, the, the first disconnect you can do is to make sure that the number of people, people that are moving from this side to that side have been limited. People are being discouraged of seeing reason why they must fight that war. But in a situation where they have more coverage of winning people to their side and recruiting them, it's, it's going to be a very big problem. There are so many on the ground work that these people are doing that we are not doing. We are just fighting the physical. And for, for, for Brutai to come and say, it will take 20 years. You see, the words that are coming out of uh, uh, political, uh, uh, I say politi uh, the military leaders shows us that, huh, I don't want to sound pessimistic, we are in for it. And if we understand that the problem of insecurity is not just about insecurity, it's going to affect our economy because a, 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 pro, a, a nation without proper security cannot have any investment. That's why we've seen that direct investment into the country has actually reduced drastically because the fear of you coming to set up businesses in an area where tomorrow there will be issues within two people and they will raise everything. And look at what happened at Shasha. Mm. So many investments gone down the drain. Some people, you see, we are talking of insurgents in the north. Some people are dead, but not reported. You can imagine having an investment of over 20 million, 10 million. I, I, I read about someone having as much as 25 shops. Everything raised down. The man is already a dead person. It's just, it's just passing out the time because in a little while, he will give up the ghost. Uh, where is he going to start from? So when you talk about security, it's not about just securing people. It has replicate effect on other areas that we must look into. So the first the thing government, we need to approach this thing in a different way. How can we talk to, in the, these people are recruiting them on daily basis. Just day before yesterday, we heard about the Kangara. Yesterday, we read about another abduction and killing of other people. So it's becoming a daily issue that we wake up to and All they right. are infiltrating into other areas. So right. let's re-strategize. It's not about alarming and say, okay, it, it will take us 20 years. Olani Shokin said that our, our, our forest needs to, you know, needs. They, they, he said they have become havens even for, for those people bandits to grow and criminals. And, and we have said it. Mm. The issue of we saying people fighting here and there, headsmen, no ranching. Can we look at way where we can go into Sambisa Forest? Somebody said if you put all the cow in the old federation together in Sambisa Forest, you will still have vast land to cover mm. this area. Can we move it into this area so that when people start having activities, all business is there. 
will push these people mm. out of it. But I think... But I wonder they, how they, safe they, it will be for anyone to move into that place right now. Uh, no, if it, the it, military... it's, it's something that you need to start with. All right. When you are focused in that particular area alone, there is a way you will fight it. When you move from one uh, mile, you cover two miles, you cover two, three it's miles. A, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you put it. I, I, I just wish it's that it is that easy. Yeah, but, but I, I understand the mental... Uh, uh, you know, the arrangement there. Now, Tunji, the point there is they talk about the ideological war, which, uh, like you said, you agree with uh, uh, General Burate that using military only cannot solve this. But when we're talking about ideology, that means you have to uh, engage people on one on one, make use of the media, make use of uh, uh, different uh, uh, strategies, the traditional rulers, religious leaders, and so on. What do you see happening in that area when, uh, when it comes to government being deliberate uh, to, to reach out to people to help change orientation? I, I think uh, that area you have gone to is another area that of concern for me mm. because I've seen uh, comments from my, uh, our leaders who are supposed to be in charge of the security and it's very, very appalling, very unfortunate. I make reference to the one by the Minister of Defense I make reference to the one by the is it Governor Matawali, is Governor uh, Bachi of uh, Wisso State, uh, and that, that's why those statements embodies the, the the criminals. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, when you no, Governor Bachi State, uh, no Matawali, is, I think Sokoto State, so, the one that talks about uh, uh, giving reason for why they are, the bandits are, are, are fighting is, is then because yeah, there is injustice. When when you see leaders justifying part. why somebody is committing crime, mm -hmm. you you feel sad and you give up. Because I, I, what, what, I don't even understand the, the way the, what they're saying, bandits. Because some people have seen bandits as, as when you are a bandit, they see you as not a criminal, that you have a reason for fighting. Go and take the dictionary. A bandit is a thief or a, crimi a, a, a criminal gang who operates in a, a lawless society. Are we in a lawless society now? So if you are justifying why somebody is committing crime, if you are justifying why crimes should be committed, if you are saying people on their own should be defending themselves against AK-47 without anything. While you are in government, it appears those in government don't even know the purpose of being in government. Because the essence of you being in government is, is major responsibilities. They are, they are just two. Security and welfare. Yeah. That's section 14 of the Constitution. Mm. So and it appears when, it, when those who are saddled with the responsibility of providing that security is shifting the responsibility back to the people. It appears they don't know what they, what they are even there to. And I expect that they, they will be sanctioned. That's another area. People are not being sanctioned for, for committing crime. People are not being sanctioned for making reckless statements regarding uh, those, the, the leaders. Those who are committing crimes are not being punished. punished. They are being pampered. And that's why you say they are growing. They will grow. They are getting money to, 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 to grow. They are getting a, 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 a kind of a, a support in quotes. Because when, you, when somebody commits crime and you say, you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are talking to them, come, please, let's discuss. Why are you doing this? Uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are sitting, negotiating you are sitting and they are, you are, people are, they are putting them in a, in, a, in a flash. In other words, open the paper every day, see them, see their faces, and nobody's being arrested. Nobody's being punished. Nobody's known. So they will be bored. They will say, okay, now nah, it appears we are in charge. And they are, they are, they are, they are, they are doing their business. So, so, are you saying the amnesty? The leaders, are you saying the amnesty program that is given on one hand? And also the rehabilitation of these of those who are said to have repented. Uh, you, you are saying it's no, not a good. It's a serious tactic. damage to our fight to, uh, against uh, insecurity. Mm -hmm. It's a serious damage. No matter any form of uh, uh, what's it called? What do you call it now? Uh, amnesty. 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 As far as I'm concerned, it's a serious any form of amnesty without you going through the trial force or facing being detained for in the court that you have been sentenced. You are now part of the after, after looking at your character and whatever they've seen for years, for a year or two or three or, or more. But you have just you are, you are not even arrested, you are not even tried, and you are being called to come and come and come and take uh, more money, come and take more. Uh, get, do, uh, well, meanwhile, your victims are somewhere they call IDP, without food, without water, without anything. Are you, are you not going to be boarding and say, look, I think I'm, I'm, I'm and that, that will encourage more people to say, I want to go into this business. Because I see it's a business now, as far as I'm concerned. So I want to go to this business to see whether or not I also survive. It's a risk. Well, the same business is a risk. You can take the risk, and then if you succeed, then it makes more money and becomes a, a, a superpower. So you, you see, the way we approach it, the, those leaders you said we should go and approach, they are not even helping matter by their comments. 
they are not they are, they, are, they are using sentiment they are seeing they are justifying the act so how can you now engage them to go and to go and to go and talk and, and, and do anything they won't they won't do anything serious and i don't even believe they're talking uh, talking talk, talking about going to see how to, to talk to them or whatever and, and, and persuade them or whatever it's a, it's a sign of defeat acceptance of failure that we cannot we are you are you are, you are, you are more than us yeah. we can't we well, can, well but we can't some, some people so say some people say let's, let's that is the strategy uh, to uh, at least bring the children home first. And the last, I mean, are you talking about the, the list of the children? No, I will, I will support that if it's to, if to, if to bring the, the children home. Mm. Because there's no other thing. I'm, I'm telling you, if you want to do it normally, like, without, without uh, begging or paying ransom or whatever, there's no way those children will come home. Yeah. They, the, the, you see the U.S., the, the governor... they came from their own country to pick their home in their own country mm -hmm. without any noise. Yeah. Now, the governor of, uh, of uh, Niger State has said that ransom would not be paid by any means, if, if we if we narrow it down to the Kagara school uh, abduction, uh, he said now because we're discussing security generally, so yeah. we can dovetail into this. Uh, he said that uh, ransom will not be paid. Uh, Shesso, I wonder what you make of this. Of course, we 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 know that in situations like this, the government does not discuss with terrorists and so on. But we understand a lot of things that happen behind uh, the scene. Uh, and you know, behind the scene, most of the things that happen are not revealed to us, mm -hmm. except uh, God Almighty. Mm -hmm. So, if they are telling us they won't pay ransom, even the uh, children adopted in Castilla too, were told that uh, ransom was not paid. You know, the military went in and they have them and they recovered them. I, I don't have issues with that. Whether they want to pay, they don't want to pay any approach, let this thing. I want to say this. Do you know the stigmatization we put in on some of the children that uh, saw this. One of the headlines was saying, I watch my friend mm. being killed. I've watched movies where you see criminal growing up, looking at how their parents were killed and they were like on retaliation, you know, move. Because it's, it's how old are these children experiencing this kind of a thing? You don't know the, the psychological mm. trauma. S some of them will go through that for the rest of their life. Of their life. Mm. That are ordinarily just seeing a, a, a rowdy session somewhere, they are, they, are, they are gone. And some of them might have that notion of having a revenge. Who are they going to revenge on? They don't even know. And with that, they are already going into criminality. So if we understand that this thing needs to be nipped in the ball, some of our leaders, you see, this is a country that everything goes. I expect that by now, some leaders in position should have been given, shown the way out. And that is the truth. If, as the end, head of, uh, uh, of this news, anchoring this program, you are telling myself and Tunji that you have the freelance to do whatever you have, just speak the way you like, mm. you know, is to tell us that you are not in charge. We need someone else who have the understanding of it to get it done. Mm. If somebody who is a retired military officer is telling me that I don't have any, 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 any ammunition, any gun, to go and face a ordinary, even ordinary peace to defend myself, it's, it's quite disheartening. Calling us names, it is uncalled for. And I don't see why the... Uh, commander in chief of armed forces is still because the chief of uh, 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 defense uh, staff is like the coordinating man for all the military apparatus, and he has come to tell us that defend ourselves. He has forgotten that statement now is confirming the the, the ideas of what the likes of Sunday Bo are doing. Because what did the guy did? He came out and said, "I want to defend my people." Mazi uh, Kano, what is he doing? I want to defend my people. Because the person in charge of the de defense, in person in charge of the military apparatus is telling you, the only thing you need to do is defend yourself. And if that's the case, we've advocated for this. Can we go out and have community policing? Let everybody in their area see how they police themselves. Decentralize that power. Not everything must go to the IGP in Abuja because you need to call him. But let's have in our area, what are the DPOs doing that is covering that locality? Because, you see, when you stay in a particular area, you know yourselves. When miscrant come in, you can easily identify them. If a child suddenly change and started, you know, going from, you know, good path 
to criminality. You can easily identify. You can easily go to the parents. You can easily talk to them. But situation where you lose that, that's why we said empower the local government chairman. We need to get it to the grassroots. Some of the people, look, they, they, they act at Kangara. 24 hours later, they did another one. In the same community, don't we have the traditional leaders? Don't we have local government chairman in that area? Don't we have uh, 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 leaders that people can listen to? Do you know there are some leaders that are more powerful even than the state governor in their locality? They have a way of persuading these young people, have a way of talking to people because in that particular area, there's a culture. They, they, they wield a lot of influence. On, on, on them. Mm -hmm. they, in this country, well, where we're being told, the, the, we, that, uh, those leaders are being alleged of being part of the, of the, of the, of the, the what's it called? The activities. What yeah, oh, but, but there are instances where the, we, we've had that report where some traditional rulers, even some uh, political office holders, have either been accomplices one way or the other one from the security other. reports that uh, at least the ones that get to the news and we hear now that statement by the minister of uh, defense uh, calling on nigerians to rise up and defend themselves against uh, uh, banditry and all of that generated a lot of you know comment and debate among nigerians but the point there is if we have to pick something from there whether we have military men everywhere on the streets or policemen or SSS or NSDC all over us as the case may be, the first responsibility is us being vigilant one way or the other. What messages can we pick from there, even though that statement has been highly criticized? No, whether, whether or not he makes that statement, it behoves on you. You have a responsibility mm. to defend yourself when you want to be attacked. But when we're talking about security of the country because mm. this, this this has gone beyond a uh, one-on-one -on -one fight or, or somebody wants to deal with you in a way in fact as a general i'm very sure as a entire general i'm very sure without his gun without his uh, security aids he cannot defend he cannot defend himself with somebody who's holding stick to say i want to i'll beat you today he will not be able to do that and he's not asking us to defend ourselves so it, it, it as much as it may be a good idea <laughs> but coming from him coming from him as far as I'm concerned, he's a he, minister of defense. It shows that he does not even know why he is. I'm so, sorry to say, I'm, I, he doesn't know why he's in government. I, I did not expect that he will still be in power. I, I, I would not be surprised if by tomorrow you will see Yonder to say he was misquoted or was, was, uh, he was not a. Uh, for them to be able to want to give us another uh, perspective of the. Yeah, of I was the about saying that. Yeah, so you see, the, the issue is that we have people in government today that does not even know the purpose for which you are in government. That's yeah. just the point. That's just the point. Well, uh, the point there is, uh, I, I would like that uh, for the purpose of enlightenment, uh, let, let's give the benefit of the doubt and, uh, and, and see how we can balance maybe the meaning of, maybe the, the way he meant was not the way that uh, we deduce it. But unfortunately, people get the messages they get the way they want no, to they will, they will but, but, but yeah. Mike, while he was giving that statement, if you look critically, there were security details around him. Mm. Why was he not just there alone? If he asked us, a layman, to defend ourselves, he asked, I looked at the video when he was making that statement. We, I, we, we can see about three or four oddlies around him. And I know they are fortified, you know, guarded with uh, bulletproof and all this kind. And he was in a room in an enclosure doing a press briefing. There you even have people surrounding you and you are telling us a layman to go out and defend ourselves. It's, it's, it's uh, well, I don't know. I think there are certain revelations being made and it has to do on the way and manner appointments were made. That's why we say, don't let appointment be on, <laughs> this, this person has worked for me. Let it be on merit, credibility. As at this morning, I'm saying it. 3D is saying, sorry. Such person should not be because it's 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 made known to everyone that he does not understand the rationale no, of but, but the, the reason point, yeah, of his the, JD. Yeah, but because the, the JD is to make sure that he defends us. Yeah, but the point there is, can, can we sacrifice the, uh, uh, his competence on the altar of a statement? Because these are two different things. The statement, that we the statement that you're will not... determine your competence. No, but the point there is, if you look at the, if you look at their, because by the time when they came on board, you look at their resume. They have, they have rich resume. Resume, and resume in Nigeria is just like, just like what they are talking about a recession. As far as, I'm, as, as far as Lehman is concerned, it's just a paperwork. <laughs> yeah, it's just a paperwork. 
you know, the people, in fact, they just, just, just trying to kill an, an, an ad with a tech jammer. Just say we are having a, a improvement in our in, in activities or economic activities in the country. People, so talking about we are out of recession, we are inside recession, people see it as a big deal. They think it's a big deal. People, they may not see it as that. The, what they want to know is that things are moving for them. They are working. So, in, in other words, you see, when you are looking at Lizumi in Nigeria, you see people with a lot of a, 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 a intimidating credentials. Put them to test. You will discover that they are nothing. You, you see, some of these, some of some of some of them are privileged to be there, but they've seen that privilege as 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 say confirming that look, we, I am the best. I know this. And, and you know, individual, I, when you have that resume, all right, it is not let's, being achieved by you alone. Okay, now let's 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 leave that now. Uh, when it comes to the personalities that we're talking about, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They've come on board, and uh, Nigerians certainly will be watching to see how the the war fight against insurgency and insecurity will uh, change when it comes because uh, the governors actually um, from their last meeting raised the point that they expect that the security architecture will change with the new uh, you know service chiefs that are on board right now something should change so that, what, what has changed in this sense the coming up no listen no, Nigeria, what, what, what say the, the coming to the board of, 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 of the new of the new uh, what's it called the new uh, uh, service, service chiefs service chief. service chief. what 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 equipment have you changed no, what, no, what 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 facility what welfare package have we, have we improved? Uh, that, that's it, what we're it's saying. Not, it's, it's not a rocket science. Yeah, that, that is what we're if, saying. If you like, change but, them. Change another, put another one today. <laughs> change the savage and put another one. Not to today. To the, the point there is, we have fresh persons on board. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Give them the necessary support. And watch how they carry out. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll make you my news, uh, uh, head of news in my office. Uh, I'll not give you, there will be no camera. I, I will see how you perform. No, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. We are not privy to the discussions they are having with the government as to how to approach the, the war against insurgency. Recall that Nigerians were saying, change the service chiefs, change the service chiefs, want fresh blood and all of that. That has been done now. So let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Mike, let's see how things go. That's what I'm, that's what Mike, I'm saying. We are not disputing the fact. Yeah. They, are, they, are, they are coming in newly. Mm -hmm. And we expect that they must have studied some things. But we want action. We are talking about life. Mm -hmm. People are dying daily. We want a situation where we will see the physical manifestation of some of the things exactly. they are doing at the back end. Mm. You see, we are not challenging them that they will not perform. At least we did that with Brutai when they came in. We gave them the benefit of that. And they did their best and, and they leave. So we, we are but they must act fast. We are really behind schedule when it comes to this because the number like i keep saying i'm not so much insecurity is affecting our economy we cannot grow our lives who are dying on daily basis mike i keep telling him i cannot travel from here to ibadan that, that's as close as it is i i call on someone he said are you going to provide security for us to move or oh, just ibadan near us yeah because you can't predict what will happen on the road so thank god for covid People are now transacting business based on IT infrastructure, Zoom meeting, and some other things. And that's why some people are just having that leeway to move on. And even those infrastructure, we are back. They are not even, you know, state of the art yet. Our, our IT infrastructure have not grown. This COVID came and slammed us. You'll be having meetings, disconnection here and there. So let government, a way, uh, another way that we can solve this problem is by creating those basic infrastructure. You see, even children that does not want to go to school, if you have good school environment, and you have one or two people that have attended the school, and you can see the result. In those not area where they are saying no to Western, this thing, you will see, ah, this person grew, and this is what he has grown. Because the way we are having it now, in those areas, the people that are actually making it are those that are going into bank duty. I heard of somebody saying, if I join them, and we are able to gather like 50, uh, uh, people and we asked for a ransom of ordinary 50,000. Do you know how much we have made? That is the idea that some of these people are having now. Are we having that other alternative to say, okay, let's go to this area, look at this locality, build good school. What are our senators doing? What are the, the constituency allowed? What are they doing mm -hmm. with, with it to develop those areas to make sure that we change the idea, change the whole area, build infrastructure, and not just about let's go out, kill them. Kill them, kill them. Let's have an idea where one or two of the people that they, they, that they know can positively 
influence them because the bandits are influencing their people and that's the why they are having more people and this idea of saying repentant people as far as i'm concerned nobody can repent Forget it. Once have you are a criminal, <laughs> you are a criminal. Have you seen the picture of the of the of not, on, 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 Everybody will not believe. Uh, will Once not you are a you criminal, you are a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> Just even you know, not on the side of pro, uh, of uh, security. Even those guys that uh, stays along the road, they talk, some of you will tell you, "I've given my life." Mm -hmm. When they have opportunity, even the pastor that wants to minister to them, if he doesn't take it, he might even fall <laughs> in their hands. So once right. you have it in Let's, your blood. You, you you definitely find it well, but people difficult. have change of mind sometimes but well, it's, well, right. it's, it's divine let's, let's, it's divine let's, not something that comes all right you know, on the, on let, the we have map. to leave you here now thank you very much Kwade, for your time and insight into our discussions today tunji abdulamid thank you very much for coming as well thank it's you very much thank you very much